Hi there, never mind the messy hair today and the downer, like quieter, calmer look of me today. I'm not completely ready for the day, but I am in fact, and I haven't been around for a while because I've been busy, but I do have a few projects I finished. This is one. It needs to be pressed and ironed, steamed more, but it's skirt. I did a little different detail on the back, but it's finished and complete and I'm excited. And then I finished this, which you can hardly tell, but it's a box pleat skirt and I wanted to make one forever. So I'm super excited because this is actually done and all I have to do is wash it iron it and it's good to go the latest other little project I just finished I'm trying to see if there's anything else but for now this is it and I just finished this little little tote there's nothing fancy about it nothing it's just plain and I was trying to just work and I love it it's cute so this may go on my Facebook page it's just something to sell so this, and while I've been doing that, I've been actually putting it on my TikTok because I have a TikTok now and I've been like doing that while I do my TikTok as I make different things. But I'm actually here today because I have my big old Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for April. I don't have shipment information for my regular yet because well it's not even shipped yet so this is the bag it's cute it's not their normal class material but it's a different material and then this is my add one of my add-ons it's an extra that I added on it's a scrunch bunch scrunchy set and yes actually I think this is a couple of the other things I've done. Uh, see this kind of matches this, but I do make my own scrunchies. These are some of my own and there's a few more over there of stuff I've made, but I thought these are cute and I wanted to try them because I do tend to use and wear scrunchies. So they are a satin material. That one's very pretty with satin flowers. This is the same. And then this one. Very cute. Love them. I'll play with those. I don't tend to do this material yet. Um, the one skirt has a scrunchie. Hold on just a second. I'll find it. It dropped. It dropped. But yeah, it has a scrunchie goes with the one so I did do that and sorry I'm like randomly all over the place today but it's actually sunny outside we're not having random snowstorms we're not having random freaky things going on um, and I've been really enjoying getting back into sewing and I'm venturing into sewing my clothes to really enjoying making these little tote bags and scrunchies are the easiest fun things for me to make but the one thing I'm not doing well about their headbands and that's just because I mean it looks nice and it'll probably fit somebody's head it just doesn't always work for mine so I don't do those very often so there's the bag here's the card April 2022 keep growing April's glam bag is made with a cycle fabric so this material is actually a recycled material probably like water bottles it says spring is here and just like you the earth has come alive take this month to plant big ideas nourish your skin and learn live a little greener because it's your season to bloom and inside is three ways to upcycle your glam bag uh, I usually do upcycle a lot of my glam bags, so it says tidy your tech, mini emergency prep, or pay it forward bags. So those always are nice to get. Um, 
So the first thing I'm pulling out is, I believe, one of my items. And it is a brush set from Farah. And usually I don't like brush sets, but I think I saw this one and thought, this one might be really cute and a really fun collection to add to my thing. Because look at those handle. Oh my gosh. And they are see-through clear. Look at that. So pretty. And there's a set of four. So you have like your foundation and all that. And it's like a full face set. But the handles are so pretty. And I think with the fact that I'm going to go through and clean up my stuff, this will be a nice addition to my makeup desk. Because I'm going to, I keep telling my husband, I am going to work on getting it back to organized and looking nice again. And I'm just going to start pulling the rest of my stuff out because uh, uh, there's my other add-on. I was going to say, I have, I have another add-on. And I believe they put in here a points redeem. So this is another add-on. It's from the brand... Araceli, and it is a Perfectos gel liner, eyeliner, gel pencil eyeliner in gold. Um, I have a few of theirs, and I love them, so I like to eyeline. I like to do my waterline in gold. I'm different than some people on that, but this right here, I believe, is my points redeem, because I did do a points redeem. And I've been waiting for it because I did it early. But it's Nude Balms from Context. This is all or nothing. Kind of a different shade. They're just a balm, so they're not going to be very bright in color. And then this is Hard Time. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit more. Yeah. So I think those are really pretty. And not that I completely like to go without a mask. But I do enjoy being able to not have to wear a mask all the time. Um, now that I'm actually putting on lip products again. These will be a nice little thing to keep adding to my collection. And these are the rest of the products. The first thing I'm going to pull and show out of the rest of my five. If you don't know what Glam Bag, the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is, it's just this, this one. It's five full size products for, I think it's like about 30 now for me. And I love getting it. Um, this is from Yensa. It is a super serum silk foundation with vitamin C, CE Ferlic, um, eight super blacks as essence. So it's kind of like a everything in one. The power of eight: black tea, black sesame oil, shiitake, shiitake mushrooms, black seaweed, chia seed, Korean black raspberry, and nettle and black rice. So it's a silky serum foundation infuses skincare benefits from vitamin C, E, and a whole bunch of other stuff with full coverage glow while working to firm, smooth, and brighten your complexion from within. So there's that. There's a dot of it. Oh wow, that is like creamy and it is in the shade for me, where is the shade? Light neutral, which is actually probably pretty good for me. Um, it is blending in pretty good and it does the right, it has this like, I don't know. It does have a glow, so that's really nice. I do like that. 
you can hardly see it now that it's like rubbed in. So that'll be fun. So that's another one. And I can tell you like all of my products I picked because I'm not sure. This is from Bota by Dorian Renaud. It's a tea tree and aloe mask scrub. It's a triple action clay mask, foam cleanser, and deep exfoliator. I want to see if it's safety sealed. It is safety sealed, so I'm going to leave it alone because I haven't, I have a lot of other ones I'm using right now. But this will be one of the ones I'll be using since I am using them more. So this is another one. It says, it's a multitasking three-in-one facial cleanser and a powerhouse for blemished skin. It starts as a treatment mask with Kalon clay to detoxify, absorb oils, and smooth skin. Then it transfer, transforms into a gentle foam cleanser infused with tea tree oil to remove dirt, impurities, and mattify with natural eco beads deep clean exfoliate the finishing touch aloe hydrates smooth soothes and nourishes skin you only leave it on for three to five minutes and then just clean it off and you only use it twice a week so that's nice the next thing i have is from galactic and i do like galactic products they're fun i've used a few of theirs and do enjoy them so, it is the Girlactic Metallic Eye Sparkle. Oh, so pretty. Uh, come spring and summer, you know, sparkle is actually very fun and pretty. Ah, uh, as it keeps working, it's like, that foundation's going to be, I think I'm going to try that. Yeah. That is pretty. And it's not as sparkly as I thought it would be, but that, that's being added to when I finally do my makeup, which I will be doing my makeup, just not today. Um, I'm just not in the mood today to do it. If I do anything, I'll be very little, but that, I really like that. I've been doing a lot of browns lately, so that's probably why. And then the last thing in my Glam Bag Plus is from Misho Beauty. It is a manicure kit. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Very fancy kind of packaging. There is a... Oof. Very pretty glass file. Very pretty. And then with it has, and I can't get them out of their things. Uh-oh. Uh, it has a glass nail file, a nail elixir cuticle oil, and it has the top coat. Okay, so the nail oil came out. So there's your nail oil and cuticle oil cuticle oil, which I do need because my cuticles are needing it. And there is the top coat. And I actually have some of the Misho Beauty um, nail polishes. So this will be a great top coat to put on top of theirs. So I thought that would be, that was one of my picks. I do remember that. And I thought that would be one of the things to add to my club. My nail file my nail polishes because I do have some Misha Beauty nail polishes and I do use them so having their top coat and everything else like that to just you know make my manicure a little bit more prettier will be nice to have so tell me what you think um, tell me if you want me to put my TikTok on here I haven't yet just because I'm nervous on my TikTok and I'm not the greatest at it I'm still learning it but um, it's not my, it's not a business one or anything. It's just, I'm playing at it and I post what I make or, you know, some silly stuff like that. Cause this sewing that I've been doing, sorry, there's a string on my skirt and it's bothering me. Um, it's been my lifesaver and, you know, putting it on TikTok and doing that has been kind of fun. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you 
if you want me to put my handle on there or like my TikTok page on there on my YouTube account because I don't have enough followers on my TikTok to do anything else with. It's sort of like this one, very low on amount of people. So hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share. <coughs> Excuse me. But tell me what you think. Did you, do you get Ipsy and, um, what do you do with your bags when you get them? Because I have a whole collection of them and I've given a few, I've given a lot away. I've also reused them for things. They're really great for like transferring stuff from one purse to another. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you like. Let me know if you want to, because I can put my TikTok on here. I don't mind. Um, it's just something I'm playing at and it does show me sewing and working and just doing different things. So again, thank you and hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and I will see you again. Bye.